Welcome to class 10th English. This is the supplementary reader book and the chapter is The Thief's Story and it is by the Ruskin Bond. Introduction part of the story. The Thief's Story is completely more than a thief's story. The story focuses on basic human values and relationship. Main focus is on the human values and the relationship. It is easier for a thief to bargain a greedy man. It is difficult even for a thief to bargain a careless and honest person. A young boy becomes friends with Anil. Anil trusted him totally and also gave him a job at his home. Does the boy break the trust or not? It is in the story. This story is about a 15 year old thief. He used to change his name every month to stay ahead of the police and other old employees. That, no, that means he used to change his name because he wanted to escape himself from the police and also from the old, all those people who had given him a job or any kind of a work. This time, he called himself Hari Singh. The other person, Anil, is in the story is a 25-year-old writer. The thief one day meets Anil and asks that if he can work for him. He discloses how the thief deceives Anil by committing theft but withdrawn later on. This is quite amazing story of a human behavior and the attachment and moreover that the, about the trust. Okay, now, now, okay, now let's move to the summary part. Let's begin with the summary. And the summary begins like this. The Anil was a 25-year-old writer. He was living his life very carelessly. He was struggling to write for earning the money to run his life. One day... Anil was watching the wrestling match. He met Hari. Hari used to his old formula to flatter the person. Yeah, now he is using his old formulas, old ways that how can he gain the attention of that particular person. Anil impresses and promised him that he would teach him how to write and add numbers and how to cook the tasty food. So he decided to take uh, take the hurry along with him at the home and uh, teach him how to add, how to write, how to read and how to make uh, tasty foods. Now both were living together happily at Anil's home. One day Hari saw that Anil had bought a bundle of notes and the Shatir mind wake ups. He saw him keep, keeping them under a mattress. As Hari saw the bundle of notes, so the evil spirit comes and arises and changes his mind. He decided to rob Anil that night. After taking the dinner, Anil slept calmly. Hari crept to the bed and slipped his hand under the mattress. Yes, because when, when there is a evil in the mind, you are not able to take a single nap, okay? And you were just squarely here and there on the floor where you were sleeping. And as he got the chance, he just robbed it. Now, he left for the railway station to board a train to Lucknow. But he missed it. You know why? There was a conflict between, in his mind, the good and the bad. Between the good and the bad. And he was not able to, you know, making, uh, he was not able to conclude that on what note he should be there or on the side of the faith or on the side of the robbery or the evil side. But he chooses that he will be not going to break the faith of the Anil who treated him as a friend, as a family member, not as a, a worker or as a servant. Moreover, Anil was teaching him how to write and add numbers that could transform his life. So he left the railway station and he came to the field and sat on the bench. Just then a heavy rain, you know, and there was a chilling, you know, there was a freezing wind was blowing and it becomes, you know, quite a um, shivering sound, kap kapping. 
he felt glitter as he had cheated an innocent person his shirt and the pajamas wedged to his body because it was wet due to the rain hari singh had a change of heart he decided to return to anil and keep the money under the pillow as where it was earlier kept by the anil he reached the room and placed the money back at at its original position and the night's gone and the rain gone now come now there is a next morning he wake up a bit late and anil had already made the tea anil offered hari rupees 50 saying that he had earned it from his writing work he told him he could not be paid regularly unhone ye bhi kaha he also added that he will not going to pay money regularly but whenever he got the money he will used to share that amount that profit amount with the hari hari kept that note in the hand and he realized that the note was still wet from the rain last night hari got to know that the anil had came to know about his misdeed but there was no sadness anger and the guilt in his mind you know the by this kind of the gesture we can conclude that the anil had a pure heart because without the hari's help he was not able to write a proper so he was thanking him without saying anything because when you give a forgiveness to anybody it is a chance for that particular person to change from that wrong path to the right path with this i end this video i hope i made it very much clear and please don't forget to subscribe like and share with your friends namaskar